Good evening everybody, it's your pal Martin Millet here. Hope you're going well. Now, back in December last year I made a video why I wasn't bothered to get a DNA test kit to look up my ancestry, see what it was like. After a few months I found that these my heritage DNA test kits are like half price sometimes. And if you're lucky, you can get a coupon code, which gives you free shipping. So, I bought this MyHeritage DNA test kit last week for a low cost of £39 sterling. It, it differs from what country you live in. Like if you're, if you're in Australia, New Zealand, United States, Europe, um, it, it just depends on the price. But these test kits are actually posted from the United States. I already know my ancestry is Irish, Scottish, English. And maybe a little bit French, because I did have a French great-grandmother. So, it comes in with this. There's like a, a DNA kit activation reminder, a DNA kit before sending it back a sample. Um, instructions. It says, for best off, please don't eat, drink, chew gum, or smoke for 30 minutes before collecting your DNA sample. Oh, oh, and it, it's actually, you wouldn't believe it, it's actually a swab. It says, I used to, I, I would believe in you'd have to be spitting, because normally sometimes you have to spit into, like, you know, into vials and then like tighten it up. And uh, yeah, you, you gotta send it back to the. the you have to send it to the United States. So right now, I'm just get, gonna go online and I'm gonna put in my DNA activation code. So it's, um, okay. normally it's the 8 digit code that starts with M the H, my heritage. Hmm. Yeah, it's just any questions about, like, ants, like, yes and no, like, if you want to, like, share your DNA matches with other people who are, like, related to you, I guess. Okay, so that's the computer system in the other way. So now uh, I've got two swabs and two containers. Uh, they basically says swap the left side for 30 to 60 seconds, like the twisting this, and then swap the right side, and then put break it off at the black marker and put it in the vial of the solution. And whenever you're using one of these swabs, but if you do, only touch the bottom area. Um, especially, this is when you're doing like COVID tests and all, or, or one of those nostril like tests. So, yeah, important. Okay. Now, I'm just gonna swab the left side of my jaw, of my, you know, cheeks.
at least. That was at least 30 seconds. Okay. Okay, I did that help for a whole minute. Without revealing too much personal information, I've got my two vials, my DNA right in here. All I'm gonna do now is make sure the vial caps are placed hardly placed both vials in the cotton pad on the cotton pad in a clear plastic bag close the ziplock. So cotton bag Zip the bag. And just... Oh, yeah, so... I'm gonna put them in the... Oh, yeah, I'm gonna put them in the pouches. Or, uh, or at least on it. This is a cushioning thing. So, yeah, the file's right in here, it is, and then go pop it in the mail, yeah, so it's just a shame, they can't do this in Britain, you have to send it to America, so, I don't know how much it's going to cost. Yeah, so, oh my god, I'm gonna miss out on McDonald's breakfast in about four minutes, but just bother, but I mean, at least I can post this today, or a video down the post office right now, and send it off to America. <laughs>